one thing that transports me is to actually make my own work. It's really got to do with fact, because the world as I experience it is highly provisional. It's like anything could be anything, as far as I'm concerned, because my emotional responses to things don't appear to have any very reliable match to the stimulus. My way of kind of combating this has been to really focus on fact. What is absolutely immovably true? What does my eye see? What is actually happening? And so I'm looking for ways to depict that. At the Melbourne Super 8 Festival in 1998, there was this program of work of the Mexican Super 8 group called the Super 8 Cheros. These films are, they're just, they're made of everything. They're just stuff pasted on top of the film. It was the first time I suppose I'd seen bad be so fantastically good to me in a way that connected with me. It wasn't just the John Waters kind of tack camp, really kind of overt bad taste. It was quite honest and light and true. I mean, I knew about drawing on film, right? Because every film student does a bit of drawing on film. You know, they teach you it in film 101, whether you go to art school or you go to film school or whatever. But yeah, it was something else to really experience it, I suppose, as cinema. As a kid, I always thought that going to the movies was really horrid. I hated it. I thought I didn't like being inside. I liked being outdoors, and I always thought it was something you did when there was nothing else to do. And I was increasingly interested in painting and drawing. As a kid, I used to spend a lot of time painting flowers, doing watercolours and natural drawing, natural history drawings and stuff. So I was looking for a way to make films that, that allowed you to make films every day, to treat it like an art practice, like any other form. So what I was looking for was something that was completely open to revision and that would allow me to experiment with every possible aspect of film. So allow me to be the camera operator, allow me to be the cinematographer, allow me to generate my own subject matter in whatever way I chose. I also really wanted to have this do it now approach and it really that concept of a practice of something one does every day was my starting off place for working out what the content of my work was going to be. So we just, and I can just lift that up a little bit. Okay. I need to do it. And look, a lot of people, it just, they don't need, in, they've got enough creativity. That their work is creative enough for them, or their children is a creative enough endeavour for them, or their marriage, or their relationship, or their friendships. You know, I think there's really a lot of ways of expressing 
your own creativity. But I think there are definitely a very large body of people who actually, they need to see outputs. They need to see stuff that they have made. And I'm one of those people. And I need to feel that I have authored something. And I need to see it for myself. And I think for a lot of people, they don't need stuff. The transient moment of the beautiful dinner with their friend is their creative expression, you know. And they don't need to have the painting or the photo or the film or the widget. But for me, I need the, I want the objet because I'm looking for the archive, you know, I'm after the fact.